Um, I'm a, I'm a paralegal at the oh, Department okay. of Justice. So oh, nice. I, uh, I work around the corner from the court, so that's how I got involved. This is Allison Raybar, one of the leaders of DSA in D.C. This past June, she led a protest against Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen. These kids will never be reunited with their parents because Kirsten Nielsen's staff doesn't think it's necessary to make a plan. That was public information. But what isn't public is how Allison Raybar at the Justice Department's Antitrust Division may be using federal government resources to further her resistance against the Trump administration. We caught her at a Democratic Socialists of America event preparing for a protest in the basement of a D.C. church. So since a lot of yeah. your coworkers are like more leftists, are so they like, trying to do anything? Um, yeah, I mean, I would describe, I have a couple socialists oh, that's super like, easy. they joined DC. Yeah. Really? It's great. Um, but most of them are just sort of like regular liberals. Yeah. And all of them are lawyers, which is like the most go? radical group. I, I okay. <laughs> but are they doing anything to like fight against Trump? Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of us talk about it. So most of them are like vaguely politically involved. So they might support candidates and do fundraisers. And some of them canvas. Okay. Um, and then there's a lot of talk at work about like how we can resist Trump. Yeah. Raybar confirms that her Justice Department co-workers resist from the inside, then boasts about how difficult it is for federal employees to be fired. Uh, like what's kind of lucky wife, that the DOJ, we can't um, like, fire. Yeah. Her DSA colleague, Stuart Carafa, who works at the State Department, told us the same thing. So, uh, <laughs> It's impossible to fire federal employees. I don't know. Allison brags that one of her colleagues who works at the Department of Agriculture resists by directly slowing down food stamp reform. We have a member who works in the people that distribute food stamps. Mm-hmm. And they can like take that away and they're just slowing what they do. Mm-hmm. Like it is on, what do you say? What would you I say? Wait until I just submit more from like, the 30th like day. Yeah. The 30th, we're going to do it in five. Sometimes they do it one day. What do you reaction? Yeah. And and what does that do though? It just means that they get their training. So it's like very small. Mine is just not having a company of profits. But like that means what they're doing means that people are going to be able to stay on food stamps. Which is interesting from the dialogue. Which is like really important. In April, Raybar led a protest on the home of a D.C. lobbyist. Uh, Jeremy Wiley is a lobbyist for Core Civic. Is everybody ready? <laughs> Let's go. How they found Wiley's address was potentially felonious. So we um, we looked it up and we found a different address for him, and it turns out they sold that house and moved in like the last six months. So when we sent someone to the secondary address. Their license plate was outside, and it had a bumper sticker for a school we knew their kid went to. Okay. I know that's very creepy, but it was very useful information. Um, so and so we ran the license plate. And it was a car registered to Jeremy Wiley. So you know, his car is parked outside a house that he does own as of very recently, and someone saw him through the window, which is also very helpful. Also, we're able to run license plates through like. You can. We cannot do it officially.